Hello everybody, this is going to be a quick video to show off how to uh, perform our uh, age sum example, but to do it in a divide and conquer style. So uh, this is uh, in a previous video, we showed how to add it up sequentially and then upper sum in, in an upper lower split kind of style. And we've added some uh, functions here to do it both sequentially divide and conquer style, but then also to, we're going to do it in parallel when we're done. Let's see our main program, if we run it, it'll print out uh, the correct values for both sequential and for upper lower split. And now we want to go ahead and build the sequential divide and conquer. Um, it's the style that I use a lot where I have some public method, you know, some sequentially uh, divide and conquer, and um, that will end up calling some kernel, which will do the actual divide and conquer over and over again. So the um, all you really need to do in these uh, public methods is call the uh, kernel uh, with the array and then just call it for the entire array. So uh, zero to ages length. Just get rid of this line. And then we're going to come up here and actually do um, oh, we need to call the sequential one. And we're going to um, this is where we're going to do our actual work. So uh, in order to uh, do this, once again, we're going to um, create an integer array of some sums, sub sums, one for the upper, one for the lower. Uh, we'll calculate the midpoint. Um, and this, instead, we can no longer just ask, you know, say, age is length divided by two. We actually have to get the actual midpoint between a min and a max. So let's do that, which is uh, min plus max divided by two. Um, and we're going to say sub sums sub zero equals calculating this uh, uh, sequential divide and conquer kernel from min to mid. And we'll calculate sub 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 one to be um, mid to max. When we're all done, turn subsums sub zero plus subsums sub one. So let's check that out. Let's see how that did. Let's format it up. That. Now, if I run it, so you can see I've totally blown out the stack here. Right? We're just calling subs as we will. Uh, divide and conquer until we just ran out of uh, the, the call stack. So what I forgot to do here is, uh, and this is uh, every divide and conquer algorithm needs a base case. And so our base case is um, if, let's uh, get a variable called the length here. If the length, which is going to be max minus mid minus min, if the length, we only want to do this work, right, if the length is greater than one. Because right? if the length is greater than one, the length is one, right? Um, then what is the sum of a one length long array? That's just returning ages sub min, or you could do max minus one, whatever. So if we do it now, say we have our parallel version that's complaining, but we're our divide and conquer version, our parallel, our sequential divide and conquer is working just fine. So let's go ahead and build um, our parallel version. And again, uh, we'll use this guy and we'll just, you know, to start ourselves off, we just need to return uh, some divide and conquer kernel. And now we're doing the parallel version. And this goes again from zero to length. Oh, excuse me, ages length. Okay. And we're just going to add a little parallelism here. So let's go ahead and copy this guy right here. So we already have a nicely working sequential version. And uh, we're going to uh, just add parallelism. So let's go ahead and put the finish in. And we'll async one of them. And then in the continuation, we'll do the other one. This is going to work. Everything is fine. It's all working. We're going to parallelism, but we're going to 
cap out on a maximum of two here. And this is a mistake that's commonly made, and it's not a problem. But you can see, uh, no matter how many processors we have, we're only going to get a, a maximum improvement of two because we divide once, then we do one of the tasks does uh, the entire left side sequentially, and then we do the right side sequentially. So what we really want to do is call this uh, new parallel kernel. And now if we had uh, many, many processors, it would, it would take more advantage of that.